Hi guys, EBP Man here with Tablets for Me. This is my mini review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. This will be a short review under two minutes, giving you uh, details around what's new and what's been lost with the Note 5. It's slimmer than the Note 4. It's slightly smaller than the iPhone 6 Plus. It has a smaller battery, but lasts 28 minutes longer than the Note 4 and two hours and a half longer than the iPhone 6. It charges faster than the Note 4 and charges up to 70% faster than the iPhone 6 Plus. It also supports wireless charging and rapid or fast wireless charging. There are two memory capacity sizes, 32 and 64. There's no micro SD card, so make sure you choose the right size for your needs. The camera is the same as the S6, and it has new features like live streaming, but it's missing one critical function. It does not take grayscale photos. There's no IR blaster as you have with the S6 and the Note 4. There's no MHL capability with this phone now, so you won't be able to connect an HDMI cable directly to the phone to watch videos. They did add a pro mode now, so in the camera settings, you're able to control your ISO, your white balance, um, your focus, as well as several other areas that make this phone closer to the experience of a DSLR. Memory has also been increased. Now you have 4 gigabytes of operational RAM, which makes multitasking, opening applications much faster than ever before. The S Pen has also been improved with uh, improved software as well as a spring release function that makes it easier to remove from the phone itself. It does have an improved fingerprint sensor and has Samsung Pay preloaded, but it won't work till September. So this concludes our mini review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. I'll have a very detailed review going over all the specs and all the technical details in the next couple of days. If you have any comments or questions about this product, please let me know on the YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.